Hello everyone, my name is Himanshu Sharma and in this video we will set up Redis server on our Windows machine and then we create a Java program to store and retrieve data from our Redis server and finally we will use test containers to test our Java program. So let's get started. Let's head to the Redis website. We'll go to get started. Over here we go for install Redis on Windows. So as they mentioned that Redis is not officially supported on Windows and we need to use WSL2 for that. So we head to this link, detail instructions for installing WSL. And what you have to do is you need to execute this command using either PowerShell or command prompt and make sure you are running it in administrator mode. So once this is done, you will get an Ubuntu distribution and also all the WSL features enabled. So once this command is done, if you go to your search, you can see over here, you get an Ubuntu app. So right now my Ubuntu app already have Redis server configured as I'm using this app for my development purposes. So for this video, what I'm going to do is I will use a different WSL. So let's head to the store. And here I will search for Debian and I will install this one. So if you want to go with Ubuntu, you can use Ubuntu. If you want to use Debian, you can use Debian. They both are Debian based operating systems. So the commands will remain same, whichever you want to use. So we can close it. Now I should have a Debian entry. I will open it. Okay, and here it will ask for username. You can provide your desired username and password. So once this is done, we head back to our browser. We can close this one. And now we need to click on this link, install on Ubuntu Debian. So if you go to this link, you can see that they are referring some prerequisites about LSB release. So what they, are, they want you to is check whether you have this package installed or not. I would suggest along with this one, you should check for curl and GPG also. So in our Debian, if I search for curl hyphen help, I will get command not found. And if I go for GPG hyphen help, again command not found. And if I go for LSB, underscore release when help we get command not form so make sure that whenever you are dealing with lsb hyphen release uh, lsb underscore release so the package name is hyphen but when you want to execute the command it's underscore so now let's install all these three so we say sudo apt install okay let's expand this Okay, and we say curl gpg and lsp hyphen release. Put the password y. It's done. So let's check curl hyphen help. Yes gpg hyphen help yes and lsp underscore release hyphen help yes and as i mentioned earlier if you try with hyphen it will still not work because hyphen is actually the package name the command uses underscore all right and clear it out okay now head back to our browser and the next step is we need to update our apt repository to have redis packages and for that we will copy these commands so we will copy and we right click enter it's done again we copy the second one right click enter so now we have to update so you can use apt get you want I'm using 
apt so the effect will remain same so sudo apt update and now you can see you are getting the ready entries and now we install sudo apt install redis yes so now you can check in fact you can start the survey so you can say sudo service redis server start and you can check the status over here you can just type status and you can see ready server is running now you can also validate by using ready cli you can type ping you get a pong okay and uh, yeah you can exit it so our server is installed now let's head to our java program all right we can minimize this we can close this tab and if you can see on this only uh, the get started page this is the command we use so the start will start it status will show you the status and stop will stop the service so let's head to the java program so here you can see it's a simple maven project okay and the only dependency we need is this one in fact you can get this info also on the redis website so if i just quickly show you once you hover over docs and then redis clients here you go for java guide and this is the only dependency we need okay now i just put this dependency the remaining 3 is uh, for our testing purposes so if you are not going for the test cases you just want to have a simple program to connect to your redis server you only need this dependency now let's get to the program program is actually a simple java class which have two variables the host and port and we are initializing it using the constructor and we have a simple method this one and in this what we are doing is we are making a jdis Uh, sorry redis connection using the given host and port and then using this connection we are first we are creating a simple hash map and then putting this map into the redis server with a key user underscore one two three finally we are fetching this whole map using this key to a, a local variable and then finally we are printing it out and also we are returning the value of key first name from this map okay so let's head the main method here we are passing the local host and 6379 6379 is the default port on which the redis server is running so now let's run this application and you can see over here it printed out the whole map which i fetch from the redis server okay and then it also prints the name because i am printing out the response from this method which is this all right now if you stop this service let's say if i want to stop this service so i say stop okay now if i check on status i will get redis server is not running field and here again if i try to connect with redis cli also it will give me error could not connect now the same thing will happen for our program also right it will not be able to connect so now what i am going to do is i will not start the service instead i am heading to our test class and here we are going to use the test containers so for test containers the prerequisite is you need to have your docker running you need to have your docker desktop running and that's the only thing you need you don't need to pull any image you don't need to create any container it's just that docker desktop is running 
and rest test containers will take care now for the testing part as i mentioned earlier we are introducing three dependencies so let's head to the pom xml so these are the three dependencies we are using first one is simple junit5 dependency the second one is the test container dependency and third one is again the test container dependencies uh, for junit so you can get an idea once you get to the main test and you can see over here this generic container is coming from the containers dependency these two we are getting it from the junit uh, jupyter container dependencies okay so in the test class what we are doing is we first annotate the class with test containers then we are defining a port as 6379 a static uh, variable and here we are actually declaring a container so what we are saying is that we need a generic container okay we annotate it with container so we need a generic container and the docker image name should be this one so this is the uh, the docker image we are looking for red is 503 alpine and we want the exposed port as 6379 so here you define the container so whenever we are going for any methods any test method we need to make sure whenever we are dealing with this redis container like in this case we are fetching the get host and then we are fetching the get mat port so these things should be done once the container is started and for that we specify the before class and after class method so what we are saying is before class the redis container should be started and after class we are saying that the container should get stopped okay so right now our redis server is not running and still we will be able to validate our method redis demo all right let's go through the test method here what we are doing is we are fetching the host and the port and then we are passing that host and port to our method uh, constructor now using this host and port the whole our business logic this part will get executed so the host and port will be of the uh, this thing test container and using that test container this whole uh, logic will be executed where the map is getting saved and then retrieved and then again we are fetching the key also and for this key we put an assertion over here so we are saying that the value comes from this method should be himanshu all right so let's start our uh, test case so we say run test method so now if you click over here you can see this is the output we are getting because we put the sys out over here and then our test case is passed that means our assertion is also succeeded so now what actually happened over in during this period is i will show you over here if you click on services container so this is the docker plugin you need to install on intellij Okay, here I currently only have this one container which I created for some other purpose. It's not related to this uh, demo. But now, if I just run it very quickly again, and then again head back to here, you can see this. The containers are getting created, and then they will get removed. You can see this test container. It will also get removed in some time. Uh, it can be any minute now. Yeah, it's removed. so what happened is test containers is actually creating containers performing your test and then uh, close them uh, stopping them so you can head to your uh, command prompt you can say here and you can type docker ps you can see still there is uh, no container running okay what you can see docker images if i go Uh, 
yeah docker images sorry so here you can see these images are fetched the reddish one so so when you started your docker you might not get these images earlier but these got pulled through test container right so you see this one redis 503 alpine this is uh, this is what it is okay so these are the images and using that the test container is creating your container and then uh, running your test cases if the image is not present the test container is responsible to fetch those images so let's revisit one last time so we have the main class over here and this will currently not work because our uh, ready server is stopped we can resume that so we go to our WSL and we can say that service can start this service okay and we can check the status once it's running now we can run this program it's getting the output okay and now we can run the uh, test container so test container is uh, you get an idea independent of whether your server is running or not because they will run their own server in a container you can run it and then you can see that uh, they are also successful and you can see that the containers created and they will also get removed uh, on their own uh, yeah done yeah so that's all uh, in this so this is the test class and i will share the github link of this code and this is the main class that's all in this video thanks for watching if you have any suggestions or feedback let please let me know in the comment section and thank you have a nice day